In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an AdWords campaign, an AdWords ad. We'll do all the all the work right here. So if you've never created a campaign before, you're probably going to, when you log into AdWords, see a screen like this. So go ahead and click create your first campaign. And in this video, I'm also going to show you all the tips and tricks that a lot of people leave out that are, is very important. So for this one, I'm creating an ad, uh, or I'm creating a ca campaign called Yoga Pants. Uh, and I might change that to Yoga Pants, Colors, and you'll see why in a second. So as we scroll down, Google Search Network includes Search Partner, sure, but we don't want the Display Network. So we're going to click up here and go Search Network Only. All right, so Google Search includes Search Partners, that's fine. Devices, Ad will show on all eligible devices. We don't want that, but we'll come back later and we'll fix that. For me, I only want United States, so I'm going to click there. Bid strategy, uh, maximum. I'm just going to put a dollar right now. It's artificial, and then five dollars per day, which is what I recommend. If you if you've never done AdWords before, that's probably like a, a pretty typical amount. Some of the cool things you can do is like these different extensions. The site links extension's pretty good. Um, that's a different video though. That's a that's a whole other topic to talk about. So I'm going to go ahead and click save and continue. All right, for the landing page, I'm going to put asanayogapants.com. So for this, and then we're going to name the first ad group. I'm going to call it Yoga Pants Colors. And then for my keywords, I'm going to put red yoga pants, uh, green yoga pants. Actually, you know what? I take that back. For this first one, let's just do let's just do red yoga pants. So red yoga pants will be the name of the ad group. And you'll see why in a second. So red yoga pants, new ad group, uh, continue to ads. So final URL. I actually the site isn't ready for this yet, but let's say the final yoga uh, URL is asana yoga pants dot com slash red dash yoga dash pants and then for the headline we're going to want to put something that's very catching uh, a lot of times it's best if it has the keyword in it so red yoga pants and then maybe sale or numbers also do really well so 30 percent off sounds really nice sale so sales too long so description so in there and the so this is it's an advertisement so red yoga pants 30 percent off that looks good and one thing i recommend is looking at what happens if you type in that keyword into google what are the ads that you see so right here we see red yoga pants dash marisi's red yoga pants dash yoga outlet that's pretty boring i think if we did red yoga pants 30 percent off that looks a lot cooler so the description could be something like free shipping dash handmade in the USA. Oh, that's just a little bit too long. I think handmade's actually one word anyways. And you want to try to end with a punctuation mark if you can. So free shipping and then maybe go like this. Handmade in the USA. So see what happens when I end with a punctuation mark? It it goes from that to that which makes it look a lot uh, nicer. So handmade in the USA. So the, the second part of the description could be something like, once again, numbers work really well. So 55, 55 colors. Um, I don't know, soft and breathable fabric. something let's see some kind of benefit perfect for yoga I'm just gonna put it there for now and so for the display URL you want the display URL so asana yoga pants dot com slash red dash yoga dash pants now this might not be my real URL I'm just saying it is but whatever you want the display URL to look like it actually has um, 
some value in the sense of like it actually is whatever the person is searching for. So that's why I'm making an ad group that's nothing but red yoga pants is because I want, oops, I want this text to red yoga pants and then the, the display URL to be red yoga pants and everything to really be centered around that. So I'm going to go ahead and create the ad. All right, review, save and finish. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is pause this. It, it won't, the billing's not there anyway, so it's fine. Let me go back in. And another thing I recommend from the very beginning is having more than one ad. So maybe one of the things you can do is copy and edit. So copy and edit, and maybe instead of 30% off, I wanna say 55 colors. And see which one of those works better. Maybe something like that. I think this 30% off is going to do better, but I'll go ahead and have two right now anyways. So just maybe I get rid of this dash actually. Red yoga pants, 55 colors, red yoga pants, 30% off. I think the 30% off will do better. Maybe, you know, maybe I could come up with a better one um, than that, but I like the 30% off because it has a number and a percentage sign. So it really pops. Like if you were to see this, so once again, like look over here, if you were to see the 30% off, that 30%, I think as humans, we gravitate towards it. So here we go. So I might call this campaign instead of campaign number one, I might actually change it to yoga pants colors. And then what I could do is I could do another ad, ad groups. Let's copy this, edit, copy, edit, paste. We're going to pause it after we, after we uh, paste it. And so for this next one, maybe we want to call it green yoga pants. And I might go through and do all of this for all the different colors. Now, if you're watching this and you're planning on doing something similar to this, there's something called the AdWords editor that I highly re uh, recommend looking at. That's a little bit beyond the scope of this video, but it is very important. Um, another thing, and this is a mistake I made. So I put in red yoga pants. What you actually want to do is at the minimum do broad match modified. So that's the plus sign here. And the difference between broad match modified versus regular broad match is if you don't put that little plus sign, it allows Google to add synonyms. Um, so it might say, you know, yoga is similar to working out. So someone might type in red workout pants and they might show my ad, but by putting that sus plus sign, I'm saying only if they put the words red yoga and pants in there, you can also do phrase match and phrase match is if you put it in quotes. So here, I'll show you what a phrase match look, looks like. So this is phrase match. So red, yoga pants and that would mean if someone searched into google something like red yoga pants for women my ad would show because that phrase is there but if someone were to type in red yoga for women pants my ad would not show using phrase match because it's saying that phrase red yoga pants needs to appear together somewhere now with this one, the broad match modified would still show because it has the word red, it has the word yoga, and it has the word pants. Let's do one more example. There's also exact match, red yoga pants. And exact match means the phrase needs to exactly be red yoga pants that someone searches for. If someone searches for red yoga pants for women, it will not show with exact match. So those are the three different ways to do it. I recommend a lot of times just starting with red yoga pants, do it broad. I recommend starting with the broad match modified. And if you're going to do that, add lots of negative keywords. Um, that's the next step. So let's look at, and to find lots of negative keywords, just to let you know, you can use the keyword tool. You can use your imagination. Like I know that if someone puts in the word workout, I don't want to see it. If someone puts in the word, but, into their search. I don't want them to see my ad because they're probably looking for like girls, butt in red yoga pants, things like that. So come up with all you want. There's also, there's a keyword tool and there's a site called Uber suggest that is very helpful. So if I were to go here, let's say yoga pants 
I would suggest all the keywords. So I, I would want to, I could use this to come up with negative keyword ideas. So, so men is a negative keyword. UK is a negative keyword. Fail is a negative keyword. Pranks a negative keyword. Me meme. Uh, target's probably going to be a negative keyword. Song is a negative keyword. So I'd add all these to my negative keywords. And yeah, um, the next thing uh, I'll also show you is in the, in the campaign, if we go to settings, we want to make sure and do a few different things here. So change the mobile bid adjustment. So right now it's showing on mobile phones. I don't want that. So I'm going to click decrease by 100%. This makes it so it's only on computers and tablets. Now, I, if you do want to show mobile phones, you can change this to, you know, negative 30% or something like that. So it changes the bid adjustment. Um, I didn't fix this one actually yet. So let me do that plus green yoga pants. Oops. And then we go over to the ads. And once again, this can be done in bulk using the AdWords editor. So we might have color. I'm just going to do that for now. So I'd want to change this as well. Oops, there we go. Save. All right. Um, so let's see what else here all settings. So some other things that you can do. So we have the targeted locations, devices. So that's the basic things that you can do when you're, so if you were to at this point want to start a new campaign, you'd go here and then you would go to all campaigns. All right, actually I had to enter my billing information before you could add a new campaign. But simply, if you want to add a new campaign, campaign at this point, you'd go campaign. And then I recommend just going with search network only, depending on what you're looking to do. Obviously there's, there's other types and do the same process again. Um, one thing that, let's see. Yeah, I mean, just do the same process again. Probably don't want French. And there you go. Um, so that's the basics on how to set up AdWords right here, how to set up an AdWords ad campaign, ad group. So you need it. You need the campaigns, like the big structure. Then within that there's ad groups and then the keywords are the things that you're actually bidding on. Uh, so if someone types in these certain keywords, your ads will show up. So that's it for this lesson. I'll see you guys in the next lesson. If you like this video, then you're going to love my new e-commerce course, the 25 K e-commerce profit plan. In it, I teach you the strategies and techniques that I actually use to build my own successful e-commerce business. We talk about how to set up a website, an e-commerce site that actually makes sales. Then we talk about how to get traffic to that site. And ultimately, I give you the tips and techniques on how to make it be as profitable as possible. We talk about things such as SEO, Google Analytics, everything you've heard about AdWords, it's all in there. This is really pretty much everything I know about e-commerce. I put in this one course. I was tired of people asking me, how do I get traffic to my website or how do I build an e-commerce site? And I wanted to just bundle it all up in one course. When you buy the course, you'll get free lifetime access to my private Facebook group. And on top of that, for the first 100 people that buy the course, I'll give you a free one-on-one -on -one 30 minute consultation. You can go to effectiveecommerce.com or click up here now to buy the course and make sure that you get one of the free 30 minute one-on-one -on -one consultation sessions.